Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, solar activity. Uh, I know some of you enjoy when I do a little bit of uh, talk on the subject and where we are at. So one of the things that is interesting to note is that according to the data that we have now, we have finally passed what is officially the solar minimum. So solar minimum, of course, is a broad period of time when there's a lot of there's not a lot of activity but there's a month that you can always say well solar minimum actually arrived on that month of that year and that happens like like solar maximum you, you, there's always okay well so ma solar maximum reached its peak in that month of that year well now we know that solar minimum has reached its bottom in December of 2019. So last December, we were at what is the lowest point in the solar minimum. Since then, solar activity has been slowly coming back a little more active. More sunspots, uh, more sunspots of cycle 25 also. So that means that we are now starting the slow progress towards going towards the next solar maximum predicted to be somewhere in 2023-24 and uh, this is going to be of course uh, this is good news of course for all of us radio listeners out there because that means that you know I mean look at the solar flux right now 75 not bad it hasn't been at 75 in a little while uh, and it shows propagation on the shortwave bands have been uh, better in the past uh, week or two and we had more sunspots. We had uh, up to three sunspots at some point. Right now, there's just one, which is sunspot 2778 as of today, August 10th. So we can uh, now think about the rest of the year. Uh, we're in August. That means that the rest of the year, we should see a little more sunspots. And next year, there should be more than this year. Just to look at the uh, percentage of the years. So, you know, 2018, 61% of the time there was no sunspots. 2019, last year, 77% of the year had no sunspots. We're at 69. We, we reached 77, or almost, uh, in the first few months. But now it's been going down because there's been more sunspots. Once again, I think an indication that we are moving ahead in solar cycle 25. For those that are wondering the predictions, well, prediction for solar cycle 25 are that it's going to be the peak in 2023, 2024, somewhere around there, is going to be probably as high as the last one. Maybe a little higher than the last one. So it's going to be a similar solar cycle. Um, I mean, it's not those big cycles of you know the 60s 70s 80s but it's still um you know an okay cycle i mean when we are at the peak there was some activity and 10 meters was open and all of that so it doesn't I, like i say often it doesn't take that much solar activity to turn on 10 meters honestly so we're moving ahead solar cycle 25 is coming up and uh, we have passed the minimum so i think that's good news looking forward if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. And by the way, if you want to have more news on solar activity and what's happening, spaceweather.com is a great website to go to.